Welcome to Endless Learning Training Series The Membrane-Based Desalination Technology. In this video we will study about oxidation reduction potential ORP measurement requirement for seawater RO plant. Oxidation reduction potential ORP. What is oxidation reduction potential? What are oxidation and reduction? Oxidation Reduction Potential Scale What effect does temperature have on oxidation reduction potential? What effect does pH have on oxidation reduction potential? Why oxidation reduction potential important in RO plant? Sample Point Location for ORP Sensor SMB Dosing in RO Plant Oxidation Reduction Potential ORP or redox is a measurement that indicates how oxidizing or reducing a liquid is, which is a measure in millivolts. The degree to which a fluid is oxidizing or reducing, represented by ORP, depends on the presence and strength of various oxidizing and reducing agents. Higher range of plus ORP oxidant is bad, higher range of ORP antioxidant is good. What are oxidation and reduction? Oxidation and reduction are related chemical processes that refer to the exchange of electrons in a reaction. Oxidation refers to when a chemical loses electrons. Reduction refers to when a chemical gains electrons, so reduction is the opposite of oxidation. Both oxidation and reduction can happen in the same reaction which is why reactions involving oxidation and reduction are often called redox reactions. Oxidation Reduction Potential ORP Scale ORP is expressed as an electrical potential, a voltage. Reducing environment is indicated by a negative reading. Reduction is the net gain of electrons by an atom, molecule, or ion oxidizing environment is indicated by a positive reading. Oxidation is the loss of electrons by an atom, molecule, or ion. Often, the lost electrons are replaced by oxygen. The most common unit for expressing ORP is the millivolt, MV. Most meters can read values ranging from minus 1000 millivolt to plus 1000 millivolt. The more extreme the negative or positive value, the more reducing or oxidizing the fluid is. What effect does temperature have on ORP? An increase in temperature can speed up the dissociation of molecules in the liquid thus increasing the ORP value and redox reaction rate. Temperature is used during calibration. The value of an ORP calibration solution at different temperatures is predictable and can be compensated for as part of the calibration process to increase accuracy. What effect does pH have on ORP? pH is a measurement of the hydrogen ion concentration in an aqueous solution. ORP is affected by any positive or negative charged particle. It can be confirmed that pH changes will directly influence the ORP value. While these two measurements change together, the rate of change may not correlate exactly. The redox reaction must be taken into account. Let's consider chlorine mentioned above. At values below 1.9 pH, chlorine is Cl2 in water. As the pH increases, chlorine reacts with water to form hypochlorous acid HOCl and the ORP value decreases. The formula is shown below, Cl2 plus H2O HOCl plus HCl. At 7.3 pH and greater, hypochlorous acid HOCl reacts to form hypochlorite OCl-. 
and the ORP value will continue to drop, HOCLOCL plus H plus, the stages from Cl2, strong oxidizer, to HOCL, mild oxidizer, to OCL, weak oxidizer, impact how proficient chlorine is as a disinfectant. For this reason, ORP decreased with increasing pH. As the pH decreases, the redox potential increases. Why oxidation reduction potential redox important in RO plant? The ORP may be used to determine the activity of an oxidizer. RO membranes are susceptible to attack by oxidizers such as chlorine, bromine, ozone, and hydrogen peroxide. The activity of the oxidizer is more informative than the chemical residual because it determines the ability and speed of oxidation. A high ORP reading would indicate a need for pretreatment. A low ORP may indicate biological activity which may cause fouling of the membranes. ORP can also be used to determine an overfeed of sodium bisulfite, which is used to reduce chlorine. If the ORP reading is under 210 millivolt, you have a reducing condition. This overfeed costs extra money and can lead to environmental discharge problems. It is best to check the reject water where the concentration is highest. This will show even minute quantities of oxidizers or reducers. Chlorine will attack thin film composite membranes resulting in the degradation of the membrane and a corresponding loss of performance is indicated by an increase in salt passage. Membrane damage will occur if it is exposed to any level of chlorine and the effects will accumulate over time. Therefore, manufacturers insist on the complete removal of residual chlorine ahead of the RO system. This is accomplished by either activate carbon filtration or the chemical injection of sodium bisulfite. Sample point location for ORP sensor SMB dosing in RO plant. ORP measurements at downstream of the cartridge filters maintained below 350 millivolt sodium metabisulfite SMB dosing is required only when a prechlorination system is in operation. Thank you for watching this video.